Hello, my friends. I now invite you to enjoy this classic Dr. Groovy lesson. Howdy there, folks. It's Scott Grove, some groovy hippie. <laughs> uh, coming with you today to show you how to play um, pretty much all the chords you would ever need to play in any given song in the entire world. Any song that is worth playing, anyway. Um, because they are all written around a central basis. There are rules to writing songs. Um, for all the people who say, man, I like to break the rules. Okay, go do that. To the rest of them, I'm gonna teach you guys how to figure out how to figure out songs or make up your own, whatever. Okay, so as I did in my last video, I made it nice, clean, quick, concise, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. I've done another 40 videos about like this. This will be 41. And why so many? And sometimes it just takes a special little something different um, to make this happen. Okay. Me and my cameraman shall make this all happen for you. Okay. So the trick here is the, again, um, as in all the others, it's the major scale, nothing but. Um, I will teach you nothing but the major scale ever in my life because that's all you ever need. Everything else is just for posers. Okay, which is the typical. If you don't know it, learn it. Um, if you don't want to go learn it, slow this down and learn it. I'm going to flatten this one. Okay, so that's in the key of G. So I'm starting in G. If you started it in A, and on up. Okay, so you're gonna play eight total notes. By the time you get up to the eighth note, it will be an octave. Of the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have seven chords we can play, okay? So that knocks the eighth one knocks it out, knocks out the eighth one, since eight again is the same as the one. Okay. Now here's what's going to happen. If you're playing in the key of G, we have to think this out as regular chords. Okay. I'm not going to try to make you do a bunch of bar chords. Um, that's easy enough. We have what's called our root or our one, our four straight down, and then our five straight up. Two more frets. Which is all fine. One, four, and five. Uh, ten billion number one songs have been written out of those three chords. Okay, the thing to do is remember this. Yes, it's nice to know one, if you're in G, is a G chord. The four straight down, one string. That's a C note, so that's a C chord. Up to, that's a D note, so that's a D chord. Okay, um, there's only one more chord and then all the rest will be minors. People have been asking, where's the minors? Um, they're usually down at the skating rink. Um, so the other major chord is gonna be what's called the dominant seventh, or just simply um, the reason I'm changing the scale. Okay, so it's actually going to be two frets behind the root. Again, easiest way to do it is either go down two frets and just know what that note is. Um, actually knowing the names of your notes is quite helpful in playing music. So if you don't know the names of your notes, uh, start over. <laughs> okay, and if you're way up here, one, four, five, and you end up back here, go back two frets. What is that? That's an F. Okay, so you we're doing G. So that was actually one. Then the seven. Okay, dominant seven. Then the four. Okay. So that's the way those will work out. Now everything else is going to be a minor chord. If you're playing through a song and 
all of those four chords don't work out for you. Generally the three will. Um, a lot of two chord songs out there, three chord songs, four chord songs. Um, but if you start hearing minor chords or stuff that you're generally not used to hearing or playing or picking out, um, that's what all the other chords will 95% be. If they're not minor, then straighten them out and make it a major. Okay? But the other three chords are going to be one, two, three. So two, three, and six. One, two, A note, minor. One, two, three. That's a B note, make it minor. Now six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's an E note. Gonna make it minor, E minor. The way I like to also cheat on this, not cheating, it's just a quick way to find your way around. If you have, at least you're up on G. If you go backward three frets, meaning that is not one fret. You didn't do nothing, you didn't move. A lot of people don't understand that. They're gonna go one, two, three. No, that's not going back three frets. You actually have to move a fret first, okay? so. That is going back one, that is going back two, and then you're off of it, which is going back three. Again, do not go one, two, three. You didn't go back on the first one, okay? So just go back three frets, and that will give you your note, then you make minor out of it. So we were on G. E minor. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now and I want you to follow along with me or play regular chords, not bar chords. We're going to play every chord that will probably ever be in any given song in the key of G that's ever been written. Again, that's worth a crap. <laughs> okay? And remember, never cross country with rap because you get crap. Okay, here's what we do. We're going to start in the key of G and I want you guys to continue on with the exact same um, way I'm doing this, the same method in every key and again it's all about the major scale one two three four five six dominant seventh then eight okay um, again one four five and seven dominant seventh are all going to be major uh, 95 percent of the time uh, probably even more than that and then all the others that you didn't play the two the three and the six one Two, three, four, five, six um, are probably going to be minors 95% of the time. If you're playing a B minor and it sounds, well, you're like, well, that B is right, but it's not quite. Try major. Okay, and that might be it. There's a lot of songs that have that actually in it where it's going from minor to major in the middle of it. Okay, so here's what we do. We're gonna go G. Okay, that's where we're gonna start. That's the one. What's the next chord? You go up two frets. What's that gonna be? A. Two chord is minor, right? So it's a three chord. What is it? Look down there. <laughs> Look at your scale. It's going to be B minor because one, two, three. So you have to be thinking on your feet. This is not just a little something to toss away. This is a lesson for the rest of your life. Start from the beginning. G being the one because we are in the key of G. I'll do this in two keys. The rest you figure out by yourself. There's your one, two, three is going to be a minor. Now four is just straight down from where it was, so it's only going to be up one more fret, which is C, because it only went up one fret. We know that the five chord goes up two more frets, so C. Then up to D. Now, there it is. Um, so we're in D. And now what's going to happen is we're going to the six, because we're on five. Now we're going to go to six. What is it? You can go up two more frets. E 
minor, so we did two minor, three minor, six minor, or move it down three frets, however you want to do it. Okay, and the reason I show it both ways is because there are licks that are very cool from the one down to the six, okay? cool to let you know that it's going backward that way. Um, same as with the C, going down same way to the A minor. Okay, so it's got that cool little walking down riff if it's in there. If it's not, whatever. We are at one major, two minor. Three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven um, dominant is going to be two frets below your root. Our root is G, so two frets below it is F. And then finally back to the one chord. Okay, so if I was to be playing around and going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and remembering all of the rules I just showed you. Okay, again, it's gonna be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, major, major, okay? And it's gonna be that way forever and ever and ever and ever, amen. So if you wanna write that down, beginning with the one chord, if you wanna just go through it, it's gonna be major. Your two chords are going to be minor. Your three chords are going to be minor. Your four chords are going to be major. Five chords are going to be major. Six chord minor. Um, seven dominant is going to be major. Eight equals one. Okay, so finger picking and one, two, and the three, four, five. Write it down that way again. Quickly is major, minor, minor. Okay? Major, major, minor. Then major, and back to one is major. It will be that way in any key you're in. Okay? So by me knowing all this, and you hopefully working on this and coming back to it, let's do it in the key of A now. I'm going to play right here instead of way up here. But I have to keep these same things in mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, dominant, seventh, eight. Okay, so one is A major. Up to the two. B minor. Okay, um, the three is going to be a minor. is going to be a major. The five is going to be a major. The six is going to be minor. <laughs> the dominant seventh is going to be a major, which is two frets behind our one. So... Finally, back to the one. Okay, so there you go. Um, again, that'll get you um, pretty much every song that's worth playing. Um, if you're under the age of 15, you probably don't need this lesson because uh, 
you're listening to garbage. <laughs> it's not that I'm old, it's just that your music sucks. That's just kind of the way things work out. Sad to say. But it is the way things are. Okay, once again on this A part, I'll put out the um, whole spiel like before. A, so we're in the key of A, that's the root, that's your number one, major. The two is B minor. Up two more frets, it's going to be another minor, it's going to be the three minor, C sharp minor. The four, how do I know so quick that it's a what a four is, there's the one, there's the four, what note is that? D major. I know that the next one's major, and it's only up two frets. So from and five is E minor or E major. Okay. So if I go three, four, five, six. Okay, I know from E major, the next one's gonna be minor. Because I went whatever in my head, go backward three frets or whatever it takes you. Now the seven is going to be the dominant seventh, which means we're just backward two frets or up one more fret, period, in major. So that's your G and then just back to A. Okay, again, major, B minor, C minor, D major. E major, F sharp minor, G major, and finally back to A. Okay, so no matter what it is, if we're in the key of A, when I go to the kitchen, set like the uh, Cherokee I am. Oh, my legs crossed and everything feels great. Uh, these kind of lessons will come out. So there you go. Um, concentrate on that, put it in every key you can, which will be every key there is. And don't use capos, ever. <laughs> um, and that's it, um, learn from this like you guys did from the last one I did in here. Um, again, the 41st version of the way to teach this, and this will sink in for somebody where the last 40 didn't, okay? Which I'm all cool with, as long as one person learns. Um, I didn't waste my time, so, hey, hopefully you won't be wasting yours by checking this out. It's very, very easy to understand, okay? You guys, be groovy. Talk to you soon. <laughs>